this time of desperation when all we know is doubt and fear there is only one foundation we believe we believe Good morning. Welcome to St. Rose of Lima Parish. Today's Mass is the Solemnity of the Ascension of the Lord. The Mass intentions are for Jason Frieders, Mildred Finken, and Jim Thomas. Our opening song is number 699, Seek Ye First. 699. Please stand.
be added unto you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. We come before our Lord Jesus, for in him we find the glory of eternal life. Lord Jesus, you are risen from the dead. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are the one who brings eternal life. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you reign in the glory of God. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Gladden us with holy joys, almighty God, and make us rejoice with devout thanksgiving, for the ascension of Christ your Son is our exaltation. And where the head of the, has gone in glory, the body is called to follow in hope. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In the first book, Theophilus, I dealt with all that Jesus did and taught until the day he was taken up. After giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen, he presented himself alive to them by many proofs after he had suffered, appearing to them during 40 days and speaking about the kingdom of God. While meeting with them, he enjoined them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father, about which you have heard me speak. 
from, from John baptized with water, but in a few days you'll be baptized with the Holy Spirit. When they gathered together, they asked him, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom to Israel? He answered them, it is not for you to know the times or seasons that the Father has established by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, throughout Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were looking on, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him from their sight. While they were looking intently at the sky as he was going, suddenly two men dressed in white garments stood beside them. They said, Men of Galilee, why are you standing there looking at the sky? This Jesus, who had been taken up for you into heaven, will return in the same way as you've seen him going into heaven. The word of the Lord. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. All you peoples, clap your hands, shout to God with cries of gladness. his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. God mounts his throne amid shouts of joy, the Lord amid trumpet blasts. Sing praise to God, sing praise, sing praise to our King, sing praise. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. For King of all the earth is God, sing hymns of praise. God reigns over the sits upon his holy throne. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. I'm reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, I, a prisoner for the Lord, urge you to live in a manner worthy of all the call you have received, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another through love, striving to preserve the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace, one body and one spirit as you were also called to the one hope of your calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. But grace was given to each of us according to the measure of Christ's gift. And he gave some as apostles, others as prophets, others as evangelists, others as pastors and teachers, to equip the holy ones for the work of ministry, for building up the body of Christ, until we all attain to the unity of faith and the knowledge of the Son of the God, to mature to manhood, to the extent of the full stature of Christ. The word of the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. 
patience, says the Lord. I am with you always until the end of the world. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus said to his disciples, Go into the whole world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. Whoever does not believe will be condemned. These signs will accompany those who believe. In my name they will drive out demons. They will speak new languages. They will pick up serpents with their hands. And if they drink any deadly thing, it will not harm them. They will lay hands on sick, and they will recover. So then the Lord Jesus, after he spoke to them, was taken up into heaven and took his seat at the right hand of God. But they went forth and preached everywhere while the Lord worked with them and confirmed the word through accompanying signs. The Gospel of the Lord. This morning we welcome the graduates and offer our congratulations to them and also to all the mothers and mothers-to-be who are here with us. We offer congratulations to you all and hope that you are blessed in a special way this day. Try to imagine what it was like for those first disciples who on that mountain or hilltop were bidding farewell to Jesus, this they knew. And then Jesus was taken from their sight. We can begin to imagine their disappointments the idea that they were now on their own and being left behind. But then suddenly they were reminded, why are you staring up into the sky? You've got work to do, to go out and carry the message that Jesus had given you. That was made clear in the gospel For the gospel makes it a little bit clear that Jesus was certainly giving them the assignment and command to go out and teach in his name. But of course, they needed the gift of the Holy Spirit first. But the two men in white reminded them that just staring into heaven Just gazing upon Jesus and where he has gone is not enough. There is more to do. It could be like graduating from high school. Graduation from high school is not the end. It's not enough. There is more to do. For some, it will be further education in college or learn going to trade school and learning a trade. And for some it might be military or work. But there is more to do if we are to truly live. In our life as Christians, there is more to do 
than coming to church on Sunday, more to do than receiving the Eucharist, more to do than spending time in prayer before the Eucharist. We have to listen to the message. Why are you just standing around looking into the sky? There is more to do. Because we have to take all of this preparation that we have, receiving Jesus in the Eucharist, to take him out into the world by the way we live. When the Pentecost day came, the disciples were reminded that Jesus was still with them, just as he had promised. I will be with you always. And in his strength and grace to teach and to guide. And so we draw strength from our time of prayer. We draw strength and understanding from the teachings of Jesus in the Gospels. We draw strength from his life and his promise to be with us always, alive in our hearts. And we have to go out and live as Jesus taught. <clears throat> carrying his works, carrying his message, carrying his very presence out into the world so that others may see the presence of Christ and be touched by the presence of Christ through our lives and the way we live. The two can never really be separated. The preparation for work and then work itself. The preparation for a job and then doing the job. The preparation for living as Jesus taught through prayer celebration of the Eucharist, and then going out and living as Jesus taught. Always remembering Jesus is in the glory of the Father, but he is also very much alive and with us and living in our hearts and lives, guiding us and strengthening us. As his disciples, we must spend time in his presence. But then we must go out and live as he taught. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, 
I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and life of the world to come. Amen. We now pre come to God our Father, who is the source of all life, all goodness and love, and place our prayers and needs before him. For Pope Francis and all the bishops, that they may faithfully lead us in proclaiming the gospel to the ends of the earth, let us pray to the Lord. Amen. For leaders of nations around the globe, that they may work together on issues that cross national boundaries, especially those that affect the most vulnerable, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who day after day put into practice the mission of building up the body of Christ, that they may be blessed in their work. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all mothers and for all those who have played the role of a mother, that they know the value of what they do and may be blessed in their role. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That nourished by this Holy Eucharist, we may go forth strengthened in our mission to live according to the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, you pour out your blessings upon us in many different ways. May we come to find you in our lives and live as your son taught. Hear the prayers we place before you, granting them as you will through Christ our Lord. If there are any small children who would like to come forward and place your offering in the baskets, you're welcome to at this time. Our offertory song is number 619, Christ Be Beside Me, number 619.
Pray with me, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. We offer sacrifice now in supplication, O Lord, to honor the wondrous ascension of your Son. Grant, we pray, that through this most holy exchange, we too may rise up to the heavenly realms through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For the Lord Jesus, the King of glory, conqueror of sin and death, ascended to the highest heavens as the angels gazed in water, mediator between God and man, judge of the world and Lord of hosts. He ascended not to distance himself from our lowly state, but that we as his members might be confident of following where he, our head and founder, has gone before. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Oh, Indeed, holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, to gather with Francis our Pope, Walter our Bishop, and all the clergy and religious. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep 
in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her husband, and with the apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 We now pray as our Lord Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and graciously grant us peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord to be with you always. Amen. We share with each other the peace of Christ. This is our Lord Jesus, the one who strengthens us with his life and love. Blessed are they who are called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be.
Our communion song is number 572, We Bring Our Gifts to Your Altar, number 572. Which 
At this time, I would have the graduates rise for a blessing. <clears throat> Lord God, your spirit of wisdom fills the earth with, and teaches us your ways. Look upon these students. May they take new delight in new discoveries in the future and give them a desire to learn all things well. Grant that they may follow Christ Jesus the way, the truth, and the life forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. The mothers, please rise. Mothers and mothers-to-be. O oh God, author and sustainer of life, from your goodness these women have received the joy of becoming a mother. Graciously accept our thanks and give ear to our prayers. Defend these mothers and their children from every evil. Be their <clears throat> companion along the pathway through life and welcome them one day into the joys of your eternal home. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. And now, since this is the second Sunday of the month, we have 
the monthly collections, the second collection. <clears throat> Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who allow those on earth to celebrate divine mysteries, grant, we pray, that Christian hope may draw us onward to where our nature is united with you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We now go in peace to love and serve our Lord. Amen. Our closing song is number 605. Alleluia, sing to Jesus, number 605.